Here are the most underrated crossbars, in my opinion, that I think you should try. Starting with the 032 Dark Monkey, this tower works incredibly well with an Alchemist buff and Pickle Jar due to it shooting three projectiles at once. Considering how cheap they are as well, it is a viable strategy to place down multiple triple darts to increase their effectiveness. Also, don't forget to buff with a primary mentoring village. Next up is the 420 Bomb Shooter. Balloon Impact is an incredibly strong support tower capable of permanently stunning large clumps of balloons, allowing your damage towers to clean up. Its downside, however, is its poor performance against Moab class balloons. The 420 Attack Shooter or Ring of Fire boasts some incredible balloon damage capable of incinerating even ceramics with just a couple of shots. Buff this guy with an alchemist and a primary mentoring village, and watch him burn wild on the balloons. He also has some decent Moab damage if alk buffed. The 023 Ice Monkey has high pierce and attack speed, making him capable of permanently stunning balloons. Similar to the balloon impact, he can support your damage towers by completely stopping rounds like 63. Upgrade him to a 024 and watch him carry rounds like 76 and 78. Just make sure you set him on strong so that he doesn't get stopped by the whites and zebras. This might be a bit of a meme one, but the 230 Bomb Race provides fairly average but inconsistent damage from his bombing runs. But the true beauty of this is when you start to spam 230 aces. They are cheap, and when set to wing monkey targeting, they clean your screen of the pesky balloons. Legend has it that if you spell an F with the aces, then no balloon dare to stand in their way. If you dislike heli micro, skip a few seconds forward. The 023 Moab Shove provides irreplaceable Moab stalling utility. If you get the middle path for the Moab Shove, the shove becomes stronger, slowing down ZOMGs and DDTs more, and sending back Moabs and BFBs further. He is a necessity if you're trying to build up a perma spike pile. The 023 Signal Flare Mortar Monkey provides rather consistent decamo and great damage. One damage on contact and three additional damage over time from Bernie stuff. It is very useful in the early game as it has global damage and can pop stray balloons. Later, you can also upgrade it to Shattering Shells. The 420 Plasma Accelerator Dartling Gunner, or as I like to call it, the Laser Pointer, has both insane balloon and mob damage. Boasting high pierce and additional damage at the focal point, it can carry you up to the late 80s. His map range damage can prove extremely useful if a balloon leaks. The 032 Dragon's Breath excels at small game hunts like mobs and ceramics. Pair him with an alchemist and watch him obliterate rounds like 63. A hidden stat that the Dragon's Breath has is that it has additional range than what is shown by his radius. Just make sure you have a form of purple popping power as to not interrupt the stream of endless fire. And finally, the 320 Druid of the Storm is less about damage but more about support. He is cheap and provides blowback that can definitely help in many situations. Place two or three Druids of the Storm and turn dense rounds like 63, 76 and 78 into a cakewalk. If you just go for a 300, then you can artificially create a regrowth arm to gain pops for a paragon. Thank you guys for watching. If I missed any other underrated towers, please leave them in the comments below and I'll make a follow-up video. Also, if you want to watch the previous video, click here. And until next time.